Hello, and welcome to another quick ESL lesson with Natalia. Today, we are learning about S. I think this is the most important letter in English, S. The letter S serves so many purposes. We have S on the verb. We have S on a noun. We have apostrophe S as a contraction. And we have apostrophe S or S apostrophe as possessives. Look at all the different jobs that the letter S can do in English. First, let's talk about the S on the verb. Sometimes we need to put S on the verb for a singular verb with she, he, or it. It rains, he cleans, she cooks. That's simple present tense. The S is on the verb because she, he, and it are singular. Now, if we have a plural noun, we don't have an S on the verb. If we have an S on a noun, that means it's a plural noun. Five cats, two dogs, my cars. Sometimes S is on the plural noun. Now we can have an apostrophe S. Sometimes that's a contraction with is. She's, he's, it's. She is, he is, it is. Sometimes the apostrophe S is a singular plural. I'm, I'm sorry, a singular possessive. Sometimes it's a plural possessive, depending on where the apostrophe is. So notice that little mark right there, that's the apostrophe. Okay, that's the apostrophe. So possessive adjectives can be singular or plural. For example, my cat's fur is black, the fur of one cat. But if I have the apostrophe after the S, now that's a plural possessive. My cat's fur is black, the fur of many cats. I can show you that right over here. Here's a drawing, look. I have four black cats, one, two, three, four. My cats are black. My cat's fur is black. So I have the plural S and then the apostrophe after the S for the possessive. My is a possessive adjective and cats with the apostrophe after the S is another adjective. Do you see the difference? I know it's a little tricky and confusing, but keep practicing. And thanks for watching. Bye.